July 22, 2005, Jacob Robbins came into the world as a happy, healthy baby, the first-born child of parents Kelly and Gord. But life was about to present some challenges to this family. And uh, when he was three and a half months of age, we decided to take a little family holiday to Florida. One morning during the vacation, Gord awakened early to find out that Jacob was not breathing properly in his bed. He was rushed to hospital. And as a result, of that happening, he suffered a brain injury. Jacob's health was in trouble. Gordon Kelly were now having to deal with the fact he'd been diagnosed with a list of complications. Cerebral palsy, reflux disorder, quadriplegia, vision and hearing impairments, all while being prone to having seizures. Those, the dreams that you had were kind of washed away, um, but he's still your kid and you'll do, you just do anything for your child. I think almost everybody would do the same and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want him anywhere else. We do what we can to keep him in our home. Okay, ready? One, two, three. They have caregivers that help him get to school and he also needs special equipment for mobility, both around the house and out on road trips. But the hardware he needs is extremely expensive. There's no playbook as I refer to it when you have a kid like Jake. I think you're just left to sort of find out as you go, but a uh, social worker had given us some indication of what we can anticipate and who we might want to go through uh, for having um, funding provided for various things that he might need. Hands up. They submitted a number of applications to receive support funding from three key organizations, one of which is Variety, the children's charity. The total funding they've received so far has helped them to purchase and install this stair lift in their family home in Victoria. And as Jake grows, it'll be easier to manoeuvre him up and down the staircase. Hey, Jake's going to make a noise. Outside on the driveway, a modified van, complete with ramps and straps so that Jake will be anchored safely inside the family vehicle. The contributors are huge. I mean, the reach for these types of products on our own budget would be impossible. These things come with a cost and families just couldn't afford to do it without the con contributions of the likes of variety. And, and that's been a big thing for us. It, it allows us to live a, a slightly more normal day -to or typical day to day and it gives Jacob the tools that he needs you know, to thrive as best he can. And the latest piece of equipment that the Robbins family are looking at for Jake is this stand-up. There you go, bud. Currently on loan as a trial to the family, it's adjustable, giving Jake the ability to stand up straight and sit down to play games with his younger brother. This is the cool feature about it. Yeah. So they can actually work together and we can wheel them around the house. It seems to be a good fit for Jacob. Um, and it's a very necessary piece for him, not only from uh, you know, sitting properly, uh, positioning, but also for standing, for weight bearing. So if we ever see an opportunity for Jacob to walk at some point in his life, it's important that we, that we have this type of equipment in the home so that we can use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Gord and Kelly are grateful for all the support they've received up to now. It really has helped them to manage and accept the way things are with Jake. We've become a little more comfortable with him. It's, it's a different life. Uh, but it's one that um, that we settle into, and um, you know, Jake's a joy. In Victoria, I'm James Green.